Greetings to everybody out there. My name is Philip Banda and this is pretty much my first video on YouTube and I hope that uh, it attracts my target audience which are the metric students, which are those who are doing geography, anybody who is registered to rewrite geography and anybody who loves geography in general. So uh, if you find this video useful, if you find this if you get something from the video, if you find a tip from the video, be sure to tell a friend about the video. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to like it. Uh, be sure to comment. If you need anything specific, if you need me to do something on a topic that maybe is a challenge to you, be sure to let me know. So today I'm not really going to discuss a lot. On I'm not going to go into the topics. I'm just going to discuss the structure of the paper. So we have different type of questions in a question paper. Paper one, which is out of 225 marks. So we have short question, short type questions. We have data response questions, and then we have uh, paragraph questions. So the short type questions are those questions that have one mark, you know, that have one mark and just one word answers. Uh, such questions are like uh, multiple choice or those data those table questions those table questions where you are given descriptions and uh terms and you're supposed to link them and or where you have where you're given statements in a bracket you have two words and you're expected to choose one from those and then multiple choice obviously and then my exam tip on multiple choice i would say just like any other question you must first understand what uh the question requires from you after you understand, I think it's uh, safer for you to first cover like all those other answers that you're given, A, B, C, D, cover those and uh, try to answer the question yourself before you look at the options. After you look at the options, it's going to be easy for you to use the elimination method where you are cancelling out those answers those are options that are, are, do not even qualify to be there until you are left with that answer that you had in your head or that answer that is a maybe. And then next we have the data response questions. These are questions that come with uh, diagrams, cartoons, tables, statistics, uh, you know, those type of questions, photos, maps. And these type of questions require knowledge, uh, uh application application of analysis evaluation and then i think those answers those questions come with answers because those diagrams that you are given they already have the answers so it's just a matter of you identifying or you naming or you are uh, explaining what is happening you describing what is happening giving reasons of or reasons why there is what, what you are looking at at that moment. So I don't think that you should crack your head on those type of questions. And then you have paragraph questions, lastly, which most of the people do not like. Uh, as soon as people read in a paragraph approximately eight lines, some people just turn off, you know, but then they're not that difficult. Uh, you need to read that whole long question thoroughly mark your keywords know how many parts you're supposed to answer the in that question and then you know that you're supposed to give four points since it's four times two a point that is well explained is two marks so you need to get to so i think it's safer if you give five points that are well explained just to be on the safer side so we do not need to be uh scared of those long paragraph questions so uh if this was this video was any use to you uh please just let me know comment like the video uh share with a friend uh and be sure to let me know if you need anything specific uh, the next video after this one, I'm going to get into the topics, uh, which is uh, I, I will do my best to go according to the syllabus, to the metric syllabus, where we have climatology. And then the first is going to be...